Hey, how's it going, YouTube pipe community? This is Chris with New Age Pipe Smokers. Um, today I'm doing a little bit different video. Uh, not gonna do a how bad can it be today. Taking a break. I was gonna do a how bad can it be on Captain Black Great, but I tried it before I could actually make a video and I like it. So how bad can it be? Not bad at all. Today's video, I'm going to be doing uh, basically a shout out and um, I'm going to be smoking some Samuel Gawith um, Kendall Cream Deluxe Flake or KC Flake as it's called now due to regulations. Um, I, I broke some up and put it in my backy flap. This thing's kind of cool. It does not keep your tobacco moist at all. Which is fine for this stuff if you want to like break some up overnight and have a place to put it. Um, it's, it doesn't dry out too fast. You can, like I said, you can stick it in there overnight and, and uh, you know. You can stick it in there overnight and let it dry slowly. And then you get a pretty decent moisture level. Um, today's pipe is going to be this Stanwell Brass Band. I know, I think one of the Iversons designed this. I don't remember. Um, I want to say it was Nana. Not sure. It's a, it's a pretty decent pipe. Sucker for the brass inlay logo, as many of you may know. I smoke, uh, Lakelands and, um other aromatics out of this one it's like a dedicated pipe so i believe they call the shape a strawberry they have this shape in a few other lines i want to say this specialty black it was available um, it's nothing too special the green's not green's not mind-blowing you know it's a Stanwell. I want to say the brass band's like a mid, mid, upper mid level pipe. I don't think it's one of their premieres. One of their top of the line. I don't have a tamper that's special today. I'm uh, just going to basically be using, I don't know, whichever one I grab. This one, I guess. I like this thing. Nice oval. So this is uh, Samuel Gawith Kentucky Cream, Kendall Cream, and it's pretty good. But it's there's a great story in how I came across this. Some of you may or may not know. I've been on the hunt for this stuff. It's one of my first tobaccos, so um, I hadn't gotten any since um, my first tin. I want to say I first got it in one of those in, in a blind review, and I loved it. When I found out what it was, I went out and bought more. Um, a tin or two and went through that and just haven't, either haven't found it or haven't bought it since. So it's not for everyone. Um, it's kind of an acquired taste, but it, there's a lot of nostalgia for me for it being a very, very early on uh, blend. So the story of how I got this stuff, um, I've made comments to certain people, and there's a couple people in the in the New Age Pipe Smokers group that, let's say they have some, um, and I've been trying to get it. One of the guys is, most of you know who he is, Marshall. He's just a crazy busy guy. Works like 17-hour days or whatever, 16-hour days, seven days a week, because he's got his own business. And uh, anyway, I've been back and forth with him and then uh i had mentioned that we were talking about it so this guy ken hinman messages me and at first i was thinking you know when he just says hey i look uh, you're looking for kendall flake or kendall cream and at first i'm thinking oh this is going to be one of those i know what i got no low balls kind of deals but uh no he goes uh i was like yeah forever and he says well my shop has some I said, oh, what shop is that? And he says, the Briery. They're in Al 
Alabama, and uh, we messaged back and forth. And uh, I went to the site and I looked for it. I didn't see it, so I told him, "Hey, I don't see it on your site." And he says, "Well, give me a minute." And then he sends me a link. He says uh, they're working on it. And then, like a couple minutes later, he sends me a link, and they he actually had it put on their site um, so that I could order it online. Uh, which is just, I mean, who does that? You know, you're messaging with the shop and they, you know, that was, so that was, that blew me away. So I order the tins and we're talking and I asked him about a few other things I saw on the site that either set out of stock or I asked him, you know, hey, what else have you got? Um, and he said, well, I'll, I'll take a video when I get back from the post office. By the way, do you want me to take a picture of your tracking number? on the receipt. I was like, yeah, sure. Like dude, like literally within minutes of me, maybe 20 minutes of me placing the order, he already had it packaged up and was like dropping it off at the post office. And then he sends me the picture. Um, and, and then he sent me a video and there's good stuff. I would just, if you got something in mind, I'd message him. Don't guys don't blow their phones up. Um, if it's not on the site, it's probably not in stock. Um, they don't have any of the stuff that you can't get anywhere else. You know, there's like Wessex and all that. They're out of all that, just like everybody else's. Um, and that's, I don't know what, what's, it's just a supply issue. Um, but yeah, he just happened to have a few tins of this. So yeah, it's, and it's pretty good. So shout out to, and he goes by Turbo. So shout out to Turbo at the Briery uh, in Alabama. That was one of the best, not only like pipe retail experiences I've ever had, but that is quite possibly the best retail experience I've had, period. I mean, it, he was just on the ball the whole time and just made everything happen. It was, it was pretty awesome. So this stuff's got a, it's an interesting taste. Um, it's not really Lakeland. There's supposed to be some boozy. I don't get too much of that. I just get, the smoke is, is cream. It's Kendall cream. It's just, it's real smooth. It doesn't bite. Um, burns cool. If you like Lakeland and you don't want something, you know, that's overpowering like a lot of their full scented stuff, um, and you just want a Virginia Burley that's got a little extra, this is the stuff for you. This is, it's pretty good. It's not great. It's, again, for me, it's more nostalgia. Takes me back to my early days, pipe smoking. There's a lot more going on than just Virginia and Burley, but it's it's a hard it's a it's a it's a hard thing to nail down. I can't I can't pick out exactly what all the flavors are. Some say geranium and like whiskey or I don't know. I don't get any of that. It's not that strong. Nicotine wise it gets the job done. It's no 1792 flake or rustica, but um, it's, it's got a it's got a nice kick to it.
just a nice, nice, smooth, easy, no nonsense smoke. Anyway, I'm going to keep it shorter than normal. Just want to give a shout out to Turbo at the Briery again. Thanks, dude. Uh, that was an awesome, awesome experience. Um, congrats to uh, Philly Piper, Michael Rizzo, who's our new admin in our Facebook group. He's already added a lot to the table. and Yeah, laugh and joke around and have a good time. He puts together some, some the pipe, the semen mantle. If you know what it is, if you know, you know. Anyway, uh, have a great week. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, we'll catch you next time.